My name is Alan. I live in Franklin, Tennessee, and I am a lifelong Republican who cast his very first ballot when uh, I was in the United States Marine Corps in 1984 when I cast my ballot through the mail, uh, and it worked for me. I have voted for Republicans ever since then, except in 2016 when I did not vote for Donald Trump, and I won't be voting for him again this year for four primary reasons. Number one, I still hold the same values that drove me to vote for Ronald Reagan in 1984. And I'll lead off with uh, international policies that Ronald Reagan stood in front of the Berlin Wall and told a Russian dictator to tear that wall down and stare him down and ultimately led this country to win the Cold War. We did that through uh, deploying great relationships with our NATO allies primarily. And our current president, Donald Trump, does the exact opposite. He doesn't stare uh, Putin down. He carries his water for him. He gets love letters from other dictators like Kim in North Korea. And he... Uh, tossed our allies to the side in Kurdistan because it was something that Erdogan and Turkey wanted. Instead of having harsh language for those dictators, it's all for our NATO allies. That has to end. Uh, that's reason number one. Number two, he separates us. Uh, read Jim Mattis's statement on how um, Donald Trump has done more to support himself through dividing us than any president that Jim Mattis, the former commandant of the Marine Corps, has ever seen before. We have to stop this division. We can't do that until Donald Trump's out of office. Number three, Donald Trump is a malignant narcissist, which is primarily why he thrives on others attacking each other and creating villains and, and claiming uh, undeserved victimhood, which he shares with those who vote for him. That has to stop. He measures every one of his actions on how it's going to impact him personally, not the United States of America. And that is the opposite of how an American president should run his office. And then four, and this is really new and it's shocking compared to the other three because I guess those three would be issues when he ran in 2016. But y'all, he has completely changed the executive branch by eliminating any oversight for him. He fires inspector generals or removes him positions from uh, positions of authority. He will not submit to congressional oversight. And we can't have a king. If there's no one to hold this president accountable, then he will make his rules up as he goes along. And there's not a greater illustration of that than the GOP platform this year in 2020. They said, whatever Trump says, that's the platform for the GOP. And that's outrageous. We have to have values that we follow like Ronald Reagan did and several of the presidents since then. And Donald Trump has none of those. So I said this earlier and I'll close with this. We must end the anger and division in this country. And the only way we're going to be able to do that is to get rid of Donald Trump in 2020. So I'm supporting the Biden-Harris ticket in 2020. I hope you will too.